hi guys and welcome to this other video so today we are going to talk about a uh, 40 net single side on so during this video we are going to talk about the sso fsso uh, how it works we'll show uh, and explain deployment mode we'll explain some uh, real world enterprise uh, use cases and then we'll proceed with a step-by-step -step installation and settings of ssl SS, fsso and for to get firewall so what is what is sso so like sso single side on is a process that allows uh, identified users access to multiple applications without having to re-authenticate uh, re so a simple example of sso is what we had we have usually with our, our microsoft account so from our microsoft account you can access all microsoft accounts uh, microsoft applications on which our account is bind so for the FSSO, the Fortinet uh, single sign-on, this is also a feature that allows users to authenticate once and access multiple Fortinet or Fortinet network devices without needing to re-enter their credentials. So this is also called this is also considered as a passive authentication method, meaning that users are authenticated based on their existing domain uh, credentials without needing to manually log into a FortiGate device. So for SSL deployment mode, we have like three, uh, three deployment modes. So we have the first one is the DC agent mode. Then we have the pooling mode with collector agent base. And the third mode is the pooling mode with uh, agentless. So let's begin with the first mode, the DC agent mode. So in this mode, Assume like you are having uh, three domain controllers on your infra. So you need to install the DC agent. So the DC agent is a setup or a file that you will download from the Forti Cloud uh, website. So you will download this DC agent mode, DC agent, you install it on each of your domain controllers. Then you also install another uh, agent, which, which is called the collector agent. You install that agent on a another Windows server on your infra. This Windows server is not a, a domain controller. So, the how does it work? Uh, users will connect to the domain controllers. Then the domain controllers will send will forward the information to the uh, collector. Then the collector will then forward this information to uh, FortiGate device. So here you have two agents that you need to install. So, uh, this is the recommended and the most reliable and efficient method because it provides real-time information and is generally a best method depending on the, the infra that you, you, you use. And the only fallback of this is that it requires more initial setup and maintenance due to the installation of the agents on each uh, device. Like the DC agent when you install it on each domain controller, you need to reboot this domain controller. So the other mode is the pooling mode, uh, pooling mode with collector agent base. So in this mode, you don't need to install uh, the DC agent on the domain controllers. So you only ins install the collector on the Windows Server computer on your infra. So what is going to happen here is that when users connect to the domain controllers, the domain controllers as they don't have the dc agent install they will not forward traffic to the collector the collect the collector is the one who is going to come to the uh, to the domain controllers to collect information to come and pull the information from the domain controllers then forward this information to FortiGate. so depending on your infra this can be also suitable if you don't want some some traffic to be ongoing on your domain controllers so you don't want uh, domain controllers to forward traffic to any other server. You prefer the other collector, the collector to come to the domain controllers. So the third one is the also a pooling mode, but agentless. So this agentless means there is no DC agent that you need to install, and there is no collector agent that you need to install. On this mode, FortiGate comes to the domain controllers and pull the information. So users connect to the domain controllers and the FortiGate comes to the domain controllers to pull the information. So in this mode, 
the 40 gig device requires more cpu and ram to do this activity because uh this activity of going to pull in the information needs some resources so you also need the event login to be enabled on the domain controllers as well but the fallback of this is that it can introduce some delay due to the polling interval and might miss some login events if the polling frequency is not that higher as uh, in the previous uh, other method so those are the three uh, deployment modes of fsso so now let's jump on how we proceed to do the step-by-step the -step deployment so first thing to do is to prepare your active directory preparing the active directory is like selecting or you need to choose what are the user accounts for which you don't want the the, the, the monitoring or the the, the, the the information to be forwarded to 40 gate so like from your active directory you might you might decide that some accounts such as administrators account or some other guest accounts or some service accounts that have that you have, you have configured on your on your 40, on your active directory you don't want them to be monitored on your 40 gate so you need to prepare those accounts then on your 40, on your active directory also or let's say on the, the domain controllers of your infra you will need to open this S F S S O agent ports so by default uh, f sso works on ports 8000 8001 8002 and 8003 so you need to open this port on your domain controllers or if you don't want to use these default ports you need to open the, the the custom port that you want to to use during the the deployment next step is to connect to the 40 cloud to download the fsf fsso uh, setup agent so to download this ssfo agent you will need to download <coughs> download the same version as the 40 gate version you are running so if your your your, your 40 gate is running let's say firmware version 70 7010 you need to download the FSSO agent version uh, 7010, at least 7010. So it's recommended to choose the, to use the same version as the one running on your 40 gig uh, firmware. Also important is to know that to download the to download the FSSO setup agent, you will need to have an account with an active support contract. It means if you are using, uh, let's say, a free account, I'm not sure that you will be able to download this, this setup. So you need to have an account on which you have an active uh, Fortinet support contract to be able to download this SSF SSO setup agent. Next, on the for the installation part, so on each domain controller, this is if you are using the DC agent mode. On each domain controller, you will need to do the installation. So you install the collector on each domain controller, then install the DC agent if required. Why we say here DC agent if, if required? It is because you can install the FSSO collector without installing the DC agent. So this particularly works when you are using, let's say you have just one domain controller on your, on your infrastructure. So if you want, you have just one domain controller, then no need to install like a DC agent. Just installing the, the collector, it means if I just go forward backward like this, it means like here, if you have just one domain controller, the domain controller is already, uh, we already consider as your collector. So if you install the collector agent on the domain controller, no need to install the agent anymore. So here, in this case, you just install the domain the, the collector and it is good if you have just one domain controller but if you have many domain controllers then you need to also install the dc agent on this uh, of, on each domain controller so here after installing this you also need to configure a password that will be used to secure communication between your uh, your, your fsso collector and the 40 gate firewall then next you need to go to, to jump to the 40 40 gate firewall and add the SSF, fsso collector as a 
as an external uh, fabric connector so we'll see this in the next minute how to deploy all all these steps so before jumping into the installation we need to to talk about some use cases of this uh, fsso on your infra so like let's say you have your 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 infra your active directory forest in which we said like you have like three domain controllers with many users many groups and some strategies and permissions that you've configured so integrating fsso on your fortigate device will let as we initially said will uh we F fsso will eliminate the need for users to re authenticate when accessing different network resources so that is the the the, the, the default and the most known uh, use case for the fsso but another use cases is like uh you use fsso for granular policy enforcement it means that with fsso you allow administrator to create like firewall policies that are more specific to users group rather than just uh, ip addresses just to just to mention that by default when you don't integrate fss or, or you don't integrate your active directory to your fortigate uh, when creating uh, a firewall policies you only have information like uh, ip address as a source, source information you only have ip address so with fsso you have the the, 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 the the ability to to include the user or the group for which you want the information as the source so also this will enhance uh, login and visibility because uh, with fsso but gate logs are more have more information uh, related to the users and the groups so like now you from your from your fortigate logs you can have uh, detailed information on which user did what action rather than the information just uh, being uh, the, the the action was performed from the device with uh, this ip address so rather than only having information about the ip address as the source you have the information about the user or the group and also the the, the resource uh, on which the user was was working or try to to access so also note that uh, fsso is supported on different environment such as uh, vdi so vdi here because vdi are infrastructure where uh, user sessions and ip addresses are constantly changing so you would not like to to miss information uh, on users or their activity just because their their, their session and ips has has had changed so if you can define policies based on the user account it means uh, <clears throat> whatever ip address on which the user works you can collect the information directly on your fortigate device without any issue so you can integrate this in vdi and also integrate this in citrix citrix environment and also vmware horizon environment so for our lab environment what we had here is you have our active directory server as we say as i said in our lab environment here we have just one uh, domain controller on which we are going to, to install the, the collector and we have some test pc on which we have uh, windows 10 uh, the, the pcs are uh, domain integrated and we have our fortigate device which is a fortigate uh, vm kvm on version 7010 so that's it so guys so because we have already uh, <coughs> around 15 minutes already on this video so i would prefer to do a second video on where, where we are going to deploy or configure uh, install install the fortigate single sign on agent on the domain controller and do the testing so guys let's meet in the next video